What's going on Castle Clash? My name is With Honor, and in this video I want to talk a little bit about enchantments and traits and kind of my thought process on it because they're pretty expensive to upgrade but if you played long enough and you were paid to play back when the game came out you can ask players that had done that how much did it cost you to get a 5-5 revite on you know your pumpkin duke or your cupid or your Aries or whatever it was at the time maybe even your minotaur how much did you pay for that and they would probably say somewhere between a thousand and twelve hundred dollars uh, you know upwards of that number even um, but <clears throat> it's kind of what the uh, enchantment changes feel like now because it's just it's ridiculous you can spend I have almost 60,000 gems I could spend all of that and not even get a 5 of 5 so I feel like it's even worse than that period of time but they do give us other ways to roll um, if you do purchases but let's just see so I'm starting with Lavonica because obviously it's the newest hero I think it's a good place to start the conversation and as well my Lavonica was actually born with this cursed battlefield and I don't think I've ever considered it uh, a great enchantment on any hero but with her in particular because uh, you know after her update she hits two heroes removes their buffs does a certain amount of damage over time and then makes them take 50% more damage so this 10% adds to that so now those heroes will take for sake of uh, quick conversation 60% more damage but this applies to everything on the field so all the heroes will take the 10%, those two will take the extra 50%, but it really works well with what she does. And, you know, I just want to see, so talking about enchantments and how uh, terrible it is to roll them, I'll just roll, I don't know, let's say 15,000 gems are told I get a 5-5, five five, which I will probably roll 15,000 gems before then. Maybe before I even get a 4-4, four because four, this is an insane process. I don't even know what I would look for her on her, look for on her, but always looking for five victory lunches. Because most of my heroes that need it are still sitting on a four out of five, which it's a huge upgrade from four to five. Where are we at? Ten thousand. Still haven't even got a four out of five. Just crazy. 2,000 more. Not even looking at what I'm getting. Just trying to watch the gems and not getting any errors. Alright, so that was about 15,000 gems. We didn't even get a 4 out of 5. So take what you can get. Um, hopefully you can get lucky and get something that actually combos with the hero itself, which this does really well with Lavonica, because unless you're making videos about her trying to solo stuff, um, this helps out your other heroes as well, trying to kill off those heroes. Um, and then like dungeons, 10% more to all hero to all enemy heroes. So when you pair her with uh, like an Anubis in dungeons, it makes Anubis more effective. But I would never put this on Anubis because that would kind of gimp him a little bit. Especially since I have a flame guard Anubis with um, victory lunge. I think probably my only 5-5 five, five victory lunge. But traits. So my process, and I talked about this a little bit in my Lavonica video, my process is like, I kind of think about what I want the hero to end up doing based on their skill and try and build around that. And so I always thought from the beginning that based on her skill, Bulwark was probably going to be the best. I think I rolled a few talent refresh cards and got a stone skin. So I'm like, all right, let me try that out and see how that goes. Uh, I rolled these traits. This is the cheapest I could have possibly spent. And what I ended up with is something that's really good for the bulwark that I ended up putting on her, because four of the four out of five, four out of six of these, excuse me, actually directly benefit the bulwark. The sixty percent bonus is going to add to this hit points, this attack, hit points, hit points. So that's a really good, uh, uh, well, it's a decent setup. It has a lot of synergy to it. I like it. And then you get this five dodge in there, which if you can see. These are the two that aren't locked down, this dodge and accuracy. But you're rolling 50, 450 gems each. I saw the dodge. It's hard to roll over a five dodge, especially when a hero where this could be a, a, a potential build for her. You know, you could build faint and just go straight dodge. Um, 
because feint is only 8% dodge, and then you want to add as much to it to try and get, I don't even know what the max you can get if you're, if you get six fives and add all that up, and then what other, can you add dodge traits, or dodge uh, crests? No, because that's just another feint set, so I don't know how high you can get it. 12, 15 percent, or something like that. That leaves a huge, in my mind, a huge gap to try and cover. That 85 percent where she's just completely vulnerable, and you've all in on this potential dodge situation. It's just too random to me. I don't like it. But having one sitting there, especially when I'm spending 450 gems, to possibly try and get add more HP or attack. I think this is pretty good. Where most people should actually, you know, what they what you should try and achieve with your enchantments and uh, your traits. Get the best that you can for as little as possible. You know, I'm like, I'm fairly high up, obviously. I'm at um, page 8 now. I've been as high as page 5, but I do not spend that kind of money to where I'm rolling traits that often. You know, and then you get into a situation where, so now I have Lavonica built in this way. It's a, it's a pretty decent all-around. If I switch her talent you know to try something else out this is a decent all-around trait setup and her enchantment works well with her skill so I can play around with the uh, with her talents and I don't think it's gonna hurt too much whereas if I built her all dodge and I went with faint and I'm like cool my experiences the dodge is not helping her survive during those two seconds let me try something else but then all she has is dodge traits yeah. she's like kinda all in on that path if I go down to one of my other heroes that I've actually changed drastically from the way it was set up before, because Anubis, I originally started with an 8 8 boar or war god, <coughs> excuse me. But obviously, Victory Lunge adds to damage and reflects some, but now I have her a Flame Guard, and so there's really good synergy between Flame Guard and Victory Lunge. But all her traits, or all his uh, traits, were uh, I had 5 5 damages. And then I think a two, because at that point you're spending 1950 gems to roll one talent. So I got a two attack. I'm like, cool, I'll leave it there. Don't have millions of gems to roll for that. But when I switched to, switched him to Flame Guard, I then had to try and get, because we've learned since Anubis' release, his damage isn't his best trait. His revives, survivability... Um, his ability basically to clear out troops when we're doing guild wars like that's his best absolute best thing he can do um, and so aside from dungeons where you need him to kill all the heroes on the map very quickly so that they don't proc on you I mean that's where his damage applies and I have a backup a war god on him for that but when I went to reroll all his attack I just kept spending gems and gems and gems and so I ended up in this place where it's a freaking mess to be honest with you. Dodge, dodge, HP, some accuracy, some HP, more HP. So, I mean, this kind of works. But it's like, how far do I go? I, I don't think it's worth going crazy. I don't think it's worth, you know, super f focusing one hero on uh, on one specific path because your best heroes can be used in multiple modes and you want them to go in a lot of different directions and traits you can't I can't have dupes and have a different set of traits I could have 10 Anubises they're all gonna have these same traits they're all gonna have this victory lunge so you know if you and things change all the time like I could set up a plan right now where I exactly perfect maxed out best 15 heroes for lost battlefield best uh, five, six heroes for Arena, and they're all perfectly set up, and I've coordinated that, and then they release Lavonica today, and it changes everything. So, unless you have the ability to just spend a significant amount of gems on rerolling traits, uh, rerolling enchantments, take the best that you can get. You know, be a little picky, but don't don't go crazy with it. Is there any other specific heroes I want to talk about? Um, no, not really. I think that kind of covers it in general. Don't be picky. Uh, don't 
get, make yourself make yourself so good at one thing that you're severely lacking in another, and it makes the hero almost useless for other modes. Um, there's some exceptions. Ronin. I mean, if you're a Ronin bomber, get those dodges. Because other than uh, Lost Battlefield, you're probably not going to use Ronin for anything else. But going into like very specific situations is something for a different conversation. And this video was just intended to be generic in general and um, give you advice. You know, I'm pretty high. That's how I approach it. If you aren't as high as I am, I would kind of suggest that you approach it in the same manner unless your account is just lower simply because you just started versus me I've been playing since the game released in 2013 so my might's extremely high but you know I haven't spent as much as the people above me or maybe even below me uh, but yeah I guess I'll leave it there if you have any other questions about uh, enchantments and traits or anything else just leave a comment and then the comment section below and I will definitely read it. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a great day.